Hi to all. Welcome to my second class of simple equations, chapter for class 7. Today I am going to discuss exercise 4.1. Let me take an equation 3m plus 4 is equal to 13. When m is equal to 1, what is the value of 3m plus 4? Which is 3 into 1 plus 4. Instead of m, you put the value 1. That is 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7. Will m is equal to 1 satisfy the equation 3m plus 4 is equal to 30? Here you are getting when m is equal to 1 the value is 7 but here you have to get 30. So m is equal to 1 is not satisfied. When m is equal to 2 what is the value of 3m plus 4? which is 3 into 2 plus 4, that is 6 plus 4, you will get a 10. Again, you are not getting 13, so m is equal to 2 also, not satisfied. Find out the value for m is equal to 3. When m is equal to 3, 3m three plus 4 is equal to 3 into 3 plus 4, that is 9 plus 4, you will get 30. Look here, here the RHS is 30. When m is equal to 3, the value you are getting, LHS is also 30. The value m is equal to 3 satisfies the equation. So we can say m is equal to 3 is the solution of the equation. This method of finding solution, we can call it as trial and error method. Here you have two equations. You find out the solution by trial and error method. Substitute values of p for 1, 2, 3, etc. Till you satisfy the equation. Your answers are p is equal to 3 and m is equal to 6. Verify yourself. Here is a sentence. 2 more than 3 times a number x is 8. Can you form an equation? What is 3 times a number x? That is 3 into x that we can write as 3x. Now you have to 2 more than 3 times a number. So 3 times a number is 3x. 2 more than means you have to add. Now it becomes 3x plus 2 which is equal to 8. So 3x plus 2 is equal to 8 is the required equation. Look at another sentence. 1 fourth of a number minus 7 gives 3. How can you write 1 fourth of a number? Here, number is not given. So you can write it as y. 1 fourth of y means 1 by 4 into y. So you multiply 1 into y is y. So you can write 1 fourth of a number. That number is y. So it is y by 4. Minus 7 gives 3. That you can write it as minus 7 is equal to 3. So the required equation is y by 4 minus 7 equal to 3. Here you have some questions. Sentences are given. You have to form the equation. Do yourself. Look at question number 5. 3 fourth of t is 15. How will you write 3 fourth? 3 fourth is equal to 3 by 4. Now 3 by 4 of t you can write it as 3t by 4 that is 3 by 4 into t you can write as 3t by 4 which is equal to 15 that is 3t by 4 is equal to 15 is the required equation. Check your answers yourself. Here you have an equation k plus 5 is equal to 10. How will you change into a sentence? Here plus means it is sum. So, sum of k and 5 is 10. So, for this equation, you can write it as the sum of k and 5 is 10. 
Let me take another equation. n by 5 is equal to 6. How will you change into a sentence? Here, n by 5 means 1 fifth of n. So this you can write it as 1 fifth of a number n is 6. Let me take another equation. 4s minus 3 is equal to 21. Here, what is 4s? S, it is 4 times s. Now, how much is subtracted? 3 is subtracted from it. So that you can write it as 3 is subtracted from 4 times a number s gives 21. Here you have some equations. Now you change into statement forms. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. Here you have few more questions. Set up an equation in the following cases. Irfan says that he has 7 marbles more than 5 times the marbles permit has. Irfan has 37 marbles. Take m to the number of permits marbles. Here, number of marble is m. Now, number of marbles with the permit is m. Here, 5 times the marble permit has. What does it mean? It is 5m. Now, 7 more than 5m. How do you write? It is 5m plus 7. So, Irfan has 5m plus 7 marbles. But it is given that it is 37. So, the required equation is 5m plus 7 is equal to 37. Similarly, do the other problems. But look at the fourth one. In an isosceles triangle, the vertex angle is twice either base angle. L let the base angle be B in degrees. Remember that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Here, in an isosceles triangle, base angles are equal. Let it be B. So, if this angle is equal to B, this angle also equal to B. And what is this vertex? This angle is called vertex angle. This is given as it is twice twice either base angles. That means it is double of the base angle. So, vertex angle is equal to 2B. Now, you know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. That means if you add all these angles, you will get a 180 degree. That is B plus B plus 2B is equal to 180 degree. B plus B is equal to 2B. 2B plus 2B, 4B. So, you can write 4B is equal to 180 degree is the required equation. Remaining questions you do yourself. Here are the answers. Do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.